All right, this is just a short video to show you how to get a Feathercoin wallet and get an address from that wallet. But if you're interested in doing this with Litecoin or Bitcoin or any of the other cryptocurrencies, it's all pretty much the same. Uh, you're going to go to the website. So in this case, we're going to go to Feathercoin.com. And here you can see right from the main page, here are the downloads. Here's the Windows wallet. And here's the Mac wallet. Since I'm running Windows, I'm going to go ahead and uh, download the Windows one. I'm going to save it to my desktop. All right. So now that that is downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. Just basically verify everything here, let it do what it has to do. Now it's going to launch automatically now because I had that button checked. And you can see that it says out of sync. So when you first install this, this is going to come up because it has to download all of the transactions that are on the blockchain. That doesn't mean you have to wait until it gets completely synced up. You can go to um, receive coins here and you can get your first address which is already generated right here so you just go like that and then right click copy address and then I would put that on a notepad and now you have an address that you can receive coins at so for instance if you were to purchase coins from me this is the address that you would give me and it would send it to your wallet now you can label this anything you want so I'm going to edit the address and I'll just write uh, first address okay and uh, if you need another address say you're going to do a transaction with somebody else and you his name is Bill and you want to know when Bill sent you something you can just say new address from Bill and now you have another address Again, I'm going to copy that one, and I'm going to give this one, get this in this uh, notepad here, okay, and you can notice that each one is unique, and that is basically it. After this is done updating, it's still going to show a zero balance because you haven't received any coins yet. But if you were to purchase coins and have somebody send those coins to you, it's going to immediately reflect in this balance. And just so you know, it won't take as long for this to update after, uh, after it does this initial update. If you're using Litecoin, it'll take a little bit longer. And if you're using Bitcoin after the initial download, it's going to take quite a long time. For the blockchain to download initially but again after that as long as you update it periodically you know once every few days or whatever it won't be so bad and uh, that's basically it